If you're writing C and C++ code in Sublime Text, then you may have run across an error involving LD collect and permission denied. It's a pretty common problem to have, and I was actually asked about this several times in the last week. So today we're going to talk about what causes this problem and how to fix it. And if you're not a C and C++ developer, you're going to want to keep watching this because this problem can also happen in other languages and even transparently in a way that you might not even know that it's happening. There's an extra added benefit. We're going to see how using Sublime Text 4 makes this problem go away. Hey, hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odan here, and welcome to this week's video on build system permission denied errors. Now, these are errors that are most commonly experienced by Windows developers of the C and C++ variety, but as we'll see through the course of the video, the problem that we're talking about here can manifest itself in other programming languages, other non-programming related tools, on other platforms, and even happen invisibly in the background. The problem we're going to be talking about here could be happening to you without you even realizing that it's happening. So you may want to keep watching to the end of the video to make sure that what you're doing with your build systems is safe. And speaking of build systems, we're going to be talking about those here. If you're unfamiliar with build systems, how to set one up, how to use it, not to worry. We've covered that topic in some detail. And down in the description of the video, I've linked a playlist to related videos to get you up to speed on that. And one last thing to mention before we jump into the content proper, if you happen to be watching this on the day that it went live or the day following, March 2nd, 2021, is going to be the very first YouTube live stream on this main channel instead of on the alternate channel where I have been doing it of Sublime Text. I'm going to be jumping in, working on uh, playing with some packages, chatting with you, answering questions. I hope to see you there. It's going to be a great time. Now, the replay for that live stream is going to be up publicly on the channel for a full 24 hours. After that, the the replay will still be there, but it's going to be unlisted. So if you want to see it after the 24 hour period, go to the channel and there's going to be a playlist right there for you to jump in and be able to see all of the live stream goodness. And speaking of live stream goodness, I've also been doing some live streaming on Twitch as well. Just regular software development. In the last few streams, we worked together to create a way for the chat in the Twitch to uh, display images directly into the stream. Big brain energy. And as I said, the most common way to run into this problem is to be using C or C++ on Windows. You try to recompile or recompile and then execute your program, but instead of either of those two things happening, you get the dreaded LD collect permission denied error. There's a couple of reasons why that might actually be the case. It might actually be a permission error because C and C++ and other programming languages will compile their source code into an executable file on disk. And as a part of that operation, it needs to remove any existing file before it places a new one in. So it could possibly be a permission problem if the directory that you're trying to compile into isn't owned by you and you don't have the right to create files in there, or if that the file already exists, but it's owned by somebody else. It's very unlikely that that's going to happen, though. The most likely scenario for this being the case is that the program is actually already running. This has everything to do with file locking in Windows, which is its ability to take any file and lock it from allowing other people to access it while somebody is using it in order to keep the content of that file safe. In the case of executable programs, Windows itself will lock the executable if the program that it represents is currently running. So most commonly, when you see this error, it's because you try to recompile your program while it's actively running, but in order to do that, the compiler needs to delete the old executable to replace it with a new one, but it can't because it's running and Windows has it locked and permission is denied and everything goes all pear-shaped for you. This all stems from the fact that build systems in Sublime Text start programs running, but they don't stop programs from running. So the builds, if you're already running one and you start a new build system, then the old build keeps running. It's detached from the panel so you can no longer see its output. And then something new runs in its place. And in the case of something that's a C or C++ program, it's going to result in this error because the compiler is trying to restart the program while it's actively running and it can't recreate the executable. There's a couple of ways that this might manifest itself. Your program might be a long run program, say something that runs for a while and then stops, like calculating a bunch of prime numbers or pi to a thousand decimal places, or something that runs forever like a server. In something like that, you can either wait for your program to finish before you start a new build or use tools cancel build from the menu. It's also available in the command palette that will take the currently running build system and cancel it, allowing you to effectively start it again. If you see the error message about permission 
denied, then it's already too late because the only build you can cancel is the one that you just did that had the error and there's no way to cancel it. That one's already done. In that particular case, then you would need to go into the uh, process manager or the task manager, depending what it is for your operating system, find the program that's running and then kill it. On some operating systems, you may also be able to resolve the problem by quitting and restarting Sublime Text as well. The other way that you might run into something like this is if you were running a program like this one. Now this is an interactive program. It's going to ask me for my name and then print it out. Something like this is very common if you're just getting started with programming in languages like C or C++. It may also be something that you're working on that just requires interactive input. Build systems in Sublime Text don't support interactive programs by default. The panel at the bottom of the screen will display output. It will not accept input. So if you were to run a program like this that ex expects you to interact with it in some way, it will effectively be locked in the background unable to continue running because you can't provide it any input. And in such a case, you might find yourself thinking your program is broken and trying to recompile it, and it can't because it's already running. We know the drill. Uh, the solution in this particular case is to not use ex uh, interactive programs like this. If you want to do that, it is entirely possible. You can use a package called Terminus to do it. It's a fantastic package. It's cross-platform. I've linked a video to how to take any build system and convert it to Terminus down in the description below. There's also videos there for how to make your build system execute programs in an external window if you would rather go that way instead for running something of an interactive nature. Uh, failing that, your only solutions would be basically what we covered before. If you were to run the program, see that it's interactive, realize your mistake, you could use tools cancel build in order to stop that program from running. However, once you see the error message, the only thing you can do is go into the task manager or the process list and kill the program from there. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, this problem isn't just related to C and C++ on Windows, because the rule that Windows locks files that are actively in use applies to all files and not just executables. And the rule that Sublime Text 3 doesn't stop a running build before it starts another one applies to all build systems across all platforms that Sublime Text 3 supports. So if you're on Windows and you're running any sort of programming language or tool that wants to create a file on disk and that file is actively in use when the build runs, you will get a permission denied denied error. This problem is even more insidious for build systems that don't rely on creating a file on disk because it's possible for you to execute multiple versions of it without realizing that you're doing it. For example, this interactive Python program here will not work for the same reason that the C version of it wouldn't work, but Python is an example of an interpreted language and not a compiled language. So it doesn't create any files on disk and the Python interpreter just opens this file, reads it, compiles it, closes the file, and then runs it. So if I was to run this and wonder why it's not working and then make some fixes and try to run it again and again and again. If I was to go into the task manager or the process list, depending on the operating system, I might find not just one or two copies of this running, but potentially dozens of them. And even if this uses a small amount of CPU and RAM, that could quickly add up depending on the length of the session. Of course, if it uses a lot of memory and RAM, then having multiples of them would be very bad indeed. The good news is that this problem is completely resolved in Sublime Text 4 because their build systems by default will automatically cancel themselves before the next one starts. So this problem can't really happen, which is a nice thing. It's a great reason for you to upgrade to Sublime Text 4 if you haven't already done so, and that's also a great reason for you to use those buttons buttons down below to thumb subscribe and share and ring the bell notification icon if you haven't already because I have a lot more Sublime Text 4 information to share with you. Remember also that tomorrow, uh, March 2nd, I'm going live right here on this channel, not on the one that's available in the card, doing Sublime Text question and answer and other fun stuff. Hope to see you there. And if I don't, I hope to see you in the next video. And until either one of those, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.